There's nothing worse than getting stuck with a dead car battery, especially if you're busy and on a schedule. You can't always rely on someone nearby having jumper cables either. And you definitely don't want to spend the money to get a professional if you can help it. That's why being self-reliant and getting your own portable jumper starter is so important. As soon as your car battery dies, you can get it up and running almost as quickly with a jump starter. Portable jump starters can be charged with an extension cord, wall plug adapter, cigarette lighter style 12 volt mail adapter, or a USB port in running vehicles. That means you can recharge your jump starter as soon as it recharges your vehicle. The best portable battery jump starter offers some combination of those four recharge options. We have listed the top 5 car jump starters and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a Number 5. Audrey Portable Jump Starter The Audrey Portable Jump Starter's overall performance claims make it a solid contender. The price is lower than most will expect to pay for a jump starter, making its ability to jump up to an 8-liter gas engine or 6-liter diesel utterly shocking. While it's safe to assume those numbers may be generous, my testing did prove it to be more than capable of servicing the average motor vehicle. It's also worth pointing out that this model also features two USB ports, meaning you and a passenger can charge your phones in an emergency situation. While it will do just fine under normal circumstances, this may not be the most durable unit. We suspect it's strong enough to endure most anything you'll encounter on the road. While the bulky protection box at the base of the cables isn't favorable, Number 4. Stanley J5 C09 1000 Peak Amp Jump Starter At a bulky 18 pounds, you might ask yourself, what kind of utility am I getting out of this? If you want a portable jump starter and a built-in swivel light, you're in luck. The Stanley J5 C09 1000 is heavy because it's also an air compressor. So, if you find your tires are low on air, you can fill them right back up. Now, our testing did reveal the jumper cables are kind of short, and the air compressor hose is likewise short, but the unit did jump the test car each time we tried it. Cables aside, it wasn't short on performance. Like the Noco Genius Boost Pro GB150, this jump starter is a bit costly, but the price is reasonable if you need both a jump starter and a compressor and don't mind the extra bulk. Number 3. Nexpow G17 2000 Ampere Battery Starter We've tested a literal pile of portable lithium-ion jump starters, and with a few exceptions, like the great clamps and turbo flashlight on the Gulu, there isn't much to differentiate them. The Nexpow model G17 2000 Amp is a minimalist variation on the theme, slimmed down to the basics, indicator lights, some USB ports, and a flashlight. Fortunately, all those work well, although it has the same low-quality interchangeable cables and clamps as iMazing and other brands, indicating they're all probably made by a few factories and styled and branded for the sellers. The next bow jump starter promises a 2000 ampere peak burst to start engines up to a claimed 7.5 liter gas or 6.5 liter diesel, but in our experience, you should cut those numbers in half. It did start a 3-liter gas engine with a very low battery for us, which is about all we'd expect of it. The next bow jump starter uses an 18R mAh battery with a shelf life of up to 2 years and doubles as a powerful battery pack with USB Type-C support and Quick Charge 3.0. It also charges up over USB-C, which is very convenient. It's rated at a wider minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees centigrade to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees centigrade range than most jump starters, but again, we wouldn't expect much from it under about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It's extremely light and compact at 9 by 3.4 by 1.2 inches, although the fitted zippered case takes up a lot more room.
Number 2. Gulu GP2000 Like Noko, the Gulu GP2000 is another compact portable jump shotter that's easy to carry around. It produces 2000 peak amps, which is enough to start a 9-liter gas engine or a 7-liter diesel engine. Plus, when you aren't using the jumper cables, you can take advantage of the three USB ports to make sure that your devices are always charged. To make it easier to jumpstart your car in the dark, the GP2000 includes a built-in flashlight. And if you're stranded or need urgent help, you can switch the light to SOS or strobe mode. It might seem like a small feature, but it can add extra peace of mind when you're in an emergency. As you might expect on a jump shotter of this size, the cables on the GP2000 are somewhat short. So, it's probably not the best option if you have a bigger car. We think it's a safe bet for people with average sized cars who want to use the device to charge their phones, tablets or other electronics. Number 1. Noco Boost Plus GB40 After using about a dozen jump starters in our garage, we think the Noco Boost Plus GB40 is the best jump starter for most people. It's priced about the same as competing models, but is smaller and better built than any other jumper starter of the size that we tested. The clamps in particular are great, even better than Gulu's weak clamps that don't open wide enough can make it impossible to clamp onto a hard-to-reach battery terminal. They also use the same universal connector common across other Noco products, so you can mix and match if you needed to, although you'd drop the amps with longer cables. There are other little details that make the Nogo easier to use than other jump starters. It turns on with a single short press to the power button, as does the flashlight which cycles through multiple on and emergency flashing cycles. Other units require assorted long and confusing sequences of presses, which might protect against turning on accidentally, but it's a hassle when you actually need to use it. Like every other lithium jump starter we've tested, it has reverse polarity detection alerting you if you connect the clamps to the wrong battery terminals. Noko says this 1000 ampere jump starter will give you 20 attempts, but they won't be all at once and that's under ideal circumstances. The company also claims it'll turn over gasoline engines up to 6 liters and diesel engines up to 3 liters, but we'd also say that that's optimistic. If you have a high compression engine or something larger than a 3.5 liter V6, we'd recommend going at least to the next 1500 amp size up, if not the 2000 amp model. The GB40 is IP65 water resistant, weighs just under 1.5 pounds, and is about 7 inches long, 3 wide, and an inch and a half thick. We really wish the Noco Boost Plus GB40 used USB C in and out rather than 2.1 ampere micro usb charging and a 2.1 and usb a output but it does come with a car 12 volt adapter and usb cable in case you throw yours away three years ago those really aren't big drawbacks and the size price convenience and otherwise great design should put it in every car <laughs>